Hello everyone, my name is Alex Gomez and on today's video we're gonna be sculpting this character from Renato 3XL. If you haven't seen his work, it's pretty amazing. I totally recommend that you check out his profile. Uh, this is actually was a drawing your style from another amazing artist, to the artist um, Vicenzo Poglia. Hopefully I uh, pronouncing his uh, name properly, but uh, yeah, like uh, it's super an am amazing style. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing uh, uh, today. We're gonna be sculpting this character. So let's get to it. Okay, so in this build sculpt, uh, uh, I'm starting with the with the face, like uh, pretty much. Um, blocking out this is just a part of a block out and and that's probably one of the parts that takes most of the time I uh, kind of kind of like getting the features and uh, the proportions and uh, you're gonna see me that I always changing stuff uh, on the go but but pretty much uh, this is how I decide to to get into the process uh, instead of uh, sculpting with a closed mouth and a character had an open mouth so I just decided to go with uh, whatever I had like uh, instead of uh, some, some people just sculpt like a, like a straight face and they just open the mouth after I just decided to go right, right away with the, with the open mouth uh, so, so for the eyes it's the same technique it's just um, uh, a penta sphere uh, duplicate it, make it bigger, cut it in half or trim it in half and then duplicate that trim and then break it down and for the upper lip, uh, upper part of the orbital bone you just I add another uh, poly polysphere I just modify it and kind of like I, uh, with the move tool I chip it up just kind of like to fill that part of that that hole that was created in the beginning of the block up. I started uh, doing some landmarks on the face first adding some teeth to start getting the better sense of uh, head expression and uh, definitely doing the landmarks and working in a lower resolution in Dynamesh it, it helps a lot. I know some of the Rodesca tutorials definitely uh, kind of like tells you to work in a version like a zero mesh version but um, at the end I, I don't know I just kind of like uh, don't feel as comfortable doing that and for me pretty much uh, I'm working more with the Dynamesh and not worry about the, to the, the topology because I'm just using this for illustration and actually I have found a uh, way that I can decimate my model and bring it to polypainted in, um, in uh, ZBrush, bring it to Maya and don't have to worry about like a topology or risk mesh with topologize or UVs and stuff like that. I just use uh, the color ID of the of the of my sculptor of my sub tool and definitely it works good. Like actually I'm doing a work of a uh, Hellboy that is gonna be a video for the next week. And actually this is uh, like uh, the first project that I'm teaching for my Seabrush uh, students at McKinsey College. And definitely it's a, it's a really good workflow just for, uh, for the sense that I'm using this as an illustration. I just want to create kind of like a, a, a 2D, like 3D, but at the end it's going to be like a 2D illustration of my, of uh, these characters. and and the fact that I don't have to worry about normal maps, base colors and stuff like that that just makes my life way easier so I might do a tutorial of how you you can decimate and bring those sub tools to Maya or Blender and how to apply the the color data that is coming from the poly paint so because yeah that saves so much time that you have to to uh, resimage, res project, project details, project the, the color and stuff like that. So, so definitely, uh, it saves me so much time and I'm kind of like happy to do that because if I want to keep uh, doing one video a week and one character a week that has been my purpose for the past year, 
and definitely that's going to help my, my workflow and that's going to help uh, saving more time to give you more um, more um, videos about my process and teach one or two things about about my my workflow and my techniques so even though like i kind of like i finished the face and the head i'm still kind of like working in my proportions working on, on, on what i see what is lacking like the face and open the mouth a little bit more and as you can see like a little things that you are like like even your your model or you, the face it doesn't look like a uh, straight out of uh, like you know like the same as your character once you start adding the eyebrows once you start adding the eyelashes the hair the the teeth if your character have teeth it yeah, definitely is gonna make a big difference and, and you have gonna have a better sense of how your reference how, how your character or your sculptor is looking in comparison with your reference so take that like uh, in consideration and and don't worry uh, uh, if your character isn't looking as as, as as okay because no one it doesn't it doesn't look that that good if uh, you don't add those details and you're not comparing with your with your characters so pretty much for the hair i i've been using the same techniques i just kind of like appending appending and, and in those little kind of strands in the hair i just use the the uh, balloon brush which is pretty cool like it just saves so much time instead of insert, inserting new brushes and kind of like i'm really 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 happy with um with zbrush new features i think they're amazing i think they're definitely like totally worth it to try them and learn because it, it speed up your process your create process a lot which is awesome so then i start like moving into them the body and start blocking out and I always leave like a thing separate like that I think I I, I kind of like leaving things separate and not don't dynamish right away and and I just work with a kind of like a loss of resolution and see how it's looking and and then when I'm happy with the form or the shape or the pose I just dynamish and, and and make it like higher because see you see in parts that their uh, for example arms are touching the um, the body uh, once you dynamish it's gonna like a weld together so that uh, division that uh, that is between the arms and the body definitely is not gonna it's just gonna cut that division as soon as you dynamish or as long as you dynamish with a really good resolution really high resolution you're gonna have more definition in those parts but i definitely recommend kind of like you have the proper pose and then dynamish so so that's good and that's why i decided to go with this character I just go with the flow and start throwing shapes and and start building stuff out of nothing and and definitely not following like a, oh i'm gonna follow this technique or this thing it should be like this or that no i just kind of like went with the flow and and enjoy the process and that that's something that that you guys definitely should do is enjoy every single uh, time that you guys are sculpting because uh, you know like i sometimes kind of like uh, people stressed out and even i do stressed out when um when things are not looking good or I'm not getting kind of like a, the proper proper shape or the proper likeness something that, that happened to me with my past character with Superman that I couldn't get it like the freaking likeness and it drive me crazy I kind of like I want to keep going and, and fixing it and do it again but you know that sometimes when you get stuck sometimes it's better to move on and give it a break work on other stuff work on other characters um probably you know just leave it like, as it is and make a new one probably in, in a couple of months or something like that but take a break of those ones when when you feel that there's a lot of room to improve but i'm sure if you take a break and work in something new the next time that you're gonna do it it's gonna be way better way better so don't beat up yourself so hard in, in those cases so yeah so the mesh balloon this is one of the cases that i that i use it and 
let me tell you like I'm really really happy that I could create those shapes in like so easy just kind of like create the, the you know like kind of like a mask outside of the model and kind of like a mask in the canvas and just give you those shapes you just like improve your workflow and speed up your work like so much which is super awesome it's super awesome and kind of like so happy with those new tools and can't wait to keep creating more stuff and also like uh, not just characters but other things um, kind of like environments and stuff like that I want to get into as well a little bit kind of like do a little bit a little of shorts animated shorts but let's see how it goes uh, in the meantime I'm just enjoying and doing my my uh, sculptures definitely like uh, I just find every time that I do this is so chill and I just enjoy the process a lot a lot a lot and I keep learning every time that I do a new character I keep learning which is super important so, um, something that I, that I find that, that it works a lot when you don't find that motivation or but you still want to progress in your sculpting techniques and you want to keep creating characters or keep, keep, uh, keep creating 3D work uh, one of the things is just like, uh, you know, uh, like creating characters so I'm gonna create a boss and just do a simple thing, just a little thing, just probably like a, uh, the, my video for, for next uh, week is just uh, it's based on uh, mass, Max uh, uh, Geek, Geek, Max Geek, I think is his name, but um, yeah, it's just definitely like it's so worth it to Max McGreeky. Max Greeky is it his name? I just can't pronounce it really well, but just kind of like a pick a simple post or a simple character, and and man, it just can be like the work of two, three hours, maybe an hour and a half, and and you get like a nice piece. Um, and you move on and kind of like I don't know you're, you're creating and every time you're creating you're perfecting your techniques you're you're improving and you're developing your your own style as well so so it's so super important if you don't find the motivation that you even like uh, create the most simple thing to to keep your your uh, you know like to keep your flow in, in, in creating characters or, or 3d art Yeah, so yeah, I started moving on with the with the clothes and and start uh, like working in the top and kind of like do I, I tried to do that one with the but it didn't look that good, so I kind of like a, made a better mask and tried to work it out better. So so I tried to use the new brushes for it, but I think it worked. It just sometimes you don't have to use the tool that most people use you should just use the tool that works for you the best okay so that will make that will make a big difference and make to um, and also try to kind of like break symmetry in some parts as well that yeah, it's gonna make your um, your characters or your work more interesting okay and uh, yeah, in this one I used kind of like a, a new technique that is with the new curve brushes alpha from alpha, I think it is. So the thing that you can do is you kind of like you create a plane, then you mask it out, you create it like, and um, you create like the geometry of it in a plane. Like for example, you have that, that, that profile and then you, you can do a curve alpha and uh, you can get like a really different and interesting shapes uh, that can become curves because uh, you, you 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 can make that as an alpha uh, or you can make the alpha in, in, in Photoshop so you can just uh, some, that's super cool that you can just make any kind of alpha uh, a curve alpha so yeah I use the same curve, curve alpha for this part of the ribbons in the hair and it took me a while to do these lines I think it, it would have been like way way probably way easier to do it in Maya <laughs> and that, that's something that I have a hard time like uh, doing like a hard surface modeling in, in uh, zebras I'm just not used to it uh, I want to 
to kind of like improve my techniques in hard surface modeling. They're not that good. I'm more comfortable to it in Maya, uh, even in Blender, because for me it's easier. But uh, the thing is like I don't want to go back and forth between software and, and I just want to do it just in one software. Um, I was kind of like trying to pose here, but just to see how it was looking. But at the end I just posted, uh, just kind of like mask stuff and just pose it. But yeah. Work on more details in the face as well and in the mouth. Um, make it a, a little bit more interesting as well in this part. Then I dynamesh uh, the head with the body so I kind of like um, uh, well the, the, the part of the neck and kind of like uh, uh, make it the same the same thing as the as uh, yeah the same part of the body and then I start like a uh, poly painting and add some colors and I'm really actually enjoying doing the poly paint here the sometimes kind of like texture in substance painter I just kind of like a uh, like more the the what Going the flow, I just wish. Oh, I don't know if Cyrus uh, uh, has uh, like a uh, layers for poly paint, which I will use a lot, but I have to find that out. I'm not like I know like a lot of Cyrus, like I just use the tools that I know to kind of like make quite cool sculptings, but uh, there's so much, so much. Uh, in Zeros to learn and every time that I'm doing a new character I'm learning something new so that's what I tell you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to watch my other two videos if you're new to this channel please like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends that are interested in digital sculpting and other three topics okay guys so have an amazing weekend and see you next Friday take care bye